action! The tiger again. Yeah, Nick! Wonderful. Today's special must be Filet of Phoenix. Stay, stay, heal! And look, it is the princess of the Zizakas. Um, it is Regina. Hey, you guys. I'm sorry, I guess I made a mistake. A mistake? Yeah, a little one. I was thinking of teaching whatever primate was out there a lesson. But I was expecting more of a monkey than a human, I guess. Oh yeah, so this is monkey called money. Or um which you know I'm sure you know about. Uh so maybe Regina I mean Regina, maybe the money stole uh something of Regina's I'm guessing. Why would she be why would she be so happy with her father's death again? Once wouldn't see such a cool guy. Well that's the sus thing. That's what's suspect. Like I don't necessarily suspect Regina, but her her demeanor is unwavering. So like she didn't really react when she found out her, her old man died, so like I don't get it. Dad? Everyone loved him, didn't they? He must have been quite the man. He was. I love my dad so much. I hate to say it, but she doesn't seem all that broken up about her father. That's why I feel so lonely. Now that I won't be able to see him for a while. That is a curious thing to say. Yikes. Um... Yeah. When Leon died, I talked with my dad, and he told me when someone dies, they just become a star in the heavens. A star? That means my dad is looking down on me from the sky. That's why I love the night so much. I can see everyone who's gone. When someone dies, that's kind of sweet. But I bet you there's no way that Maya believes that. What do you mean there's no way I believe that? Do you think that one day I'll be a star too? Of course. You really think so? Yeah, you will, I think. I've got a feeling that everyone's doing great up there in the sky. I wonder if everything's alright with Regina. Just to go back and clear something up, why do you want to teach money a lesson? Because he's a meanie. Because he's a meanie, uh, he's got something that means a lot to me. Something that means a lot to you must be something shiny, right? Um, actually, it's a stage costume. It's got, it's got lots of spangles, it's really beautiful, you should see it. We should. When the costume gets hit by the spotlight, it dazzles. Hey, Mr. Attorney, huh? if you saw that monkey, you'd get my costume back for me, wouldn't you? It's really important to me. Ah, of course, the illusion of choice. Right here, the illusion of choice. Many options all lead to the same thing. I hate that my afro is like not being an afro right now. It's because I've been wearing a hood. So it's just compressed my hair. Uh, I'll choose the options that I'll choose the option that makes me sound the least like a simp. So this one. Leave it all up to us. I guess there's no turning down that request. Yay! You're really gonna do it. Yeah. Um. Okay. <laughs> Uh, what do you know about a note? Regina, have you ever seen this thing before? Am I? Oh, the space between the space between my headphones and the goggles are like I can't do anything with I can't do anything with my hair while my headphones are on. Uh, Regina, have you ever seen this before? Ah, oh, I know what this is. Really? 
Well, it was in my pocket for a while. Pocket for, it was in your pocket. I guess I noticed it, it was in there around breakfast time. It's the worst because when I when I comb my hair out, which I did yes, yesterday, like it's funny because like when the socials uh, in my house started last night, um, it started at 8 p.m. And uh, I woke up at like, it was meant, okay, I figured it was meant to start at 8 p.m. But like, I guess it started before that because my friend called me and she was like, I'm downstairs, by the way. I'm like, wait, what? I look at the time, it's like 7.55 p.m. I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> everyone's already started drinking. I'll go downstairs. Uh, I said, oh yeah, I'll go downstairs. I'll be downstairs soon. So I go downstairs and I'm like literally just woken up. Like I look like shit. My hair is like sh like the shrinkage with a wheel. Like it, my hair, my afro just shrunk. So it looked like I cut my hair, but no. Um, so I went into the living room and I was like, oh, hey guys, um, I'm going to do a bit of a stars in your eyes moment. Uh, so I'll be back in 15 minutes. And basically I went back upstairs, took a shower and did did my hair. And I came back with my goggles on, my afro, full, like I was, I looked like Ty from Digimon, it was all sick. Um, and then I still had that sort of like puffiness today, and I was just excited to have it for stream. But then, but then I, I wore a hood. Like I was wearing, I was wearing this hoodie earlier um, for a while, and so that's why my hair has taken this compressed shape which is uh annoying headsets do indeed suck i uh, suck for a uh, curly hair unfortunately it'd be like that yeah i always take acro his breakfast in the morning that's when i also that's when i also take out the trash in his room it's so hard it really is hard to deal with volume like people will ask how do how what do you do with your hair to get it so puffy i'm like shampoo conditioner then blow dry with the comb attachment and then i use like oil like i've got argan oil at the moment and then and then i recently i, f I found out that the black hair shop is open during lockdown okay um so i was able to go there and i was able to buy some more coconut oil gel as well and that's what helps uh then i go to the cafeteria and eat my own breakfast that's when you realize this piece of paper was in your pocket Yep, but since I'm not a murderer, I just figured it belonged in someone else's pocket. And then what? I wondered if the person who lost it was in trouble, so... You didn't put it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria, did you? I did. I stuck it up there. How'd you know? Coconut oil is absolutely the best for your hair. Yeah? I'm, personally, I like the way coconut, the coconut oil smells, personally, which is why I use it. But, like, I, just, like, I don't really know much about hair. Like, I really didn't start... I, like, before... Before two years ago, I would always like just my hair would never ever get like poofy at all. Like it would never grow like that much. I'd always I'd always like shave my hair like every month or something. Um, so like I haven't really actually cut my hair in two years. Um, so I'm like I've never experienced having an afro like this. So like I'm still sort of learning through trial and error how to maintain this much hair. Um, so I started using oil. Like I've got literal like actual argan oil and then the coconut oil gel and that's been fun to use. So when did this happen? I think the morning of the mur morning of the murder that explains a lot. I wonder who wrote this. Um Oh wait, hold on. Did that update? Found in Regina's pocket the morning of the crime. Oh, there's more. T oh. Okay. This wasn't in the dialogue. To the murderer, you haven't forgotten what happened six months ago, have you? I have conclusive evidence of what took place. <sighs> Who did we talk to that literally said that they broke their legs or something <laughs> uh, six months ago? 
Actually, okay. sir, you are sus. Sus. Sus as hell. We gon' vote him out. Vote him out. Vote him out. Once we get on, once we, uh, hopefully, like, we'll go to trial and, like, he's guilty and it will just be like, Acro was the imposter. The uh, Acro has been ejected. Um, alright, so, nothing else to talk about, really. Are there people to talk about? Ah, it's Acro. Is he in his room today? Yes, he is. We just came back from a meeting with him. I hope his legs will get better soon. Acro's so incredible, especially on the trapeze. The trapeze is that enormous swing hanging from the top of the tent, right? Yep, that's it. I really want to see him up there again. Acro the acrobat. That's strange. Acro doesn't seem to have very m many nice things to say about Regina. But Regina seems to like Acro just fine. Hmm. Could it be because Regina caused the accident? Which is why it was in her pocket to begin with? Hmm. He's been a good friend of my dad for a really long time now. My dad always said, when it comes to who I can entrust the circus to, it's definitely Mo. Hmm, yep, that, lo that clown is one lovable stooge. Don't you think so, Nick? Ah, uh, no comment. Um, nothing else important. Okay. Guess we can go somewhere else. Something smells fantastic, so we know it can't be Mo. Wait, I know what it is. It's burgers! Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Bistro du Cirque. Cirque? Cirque du Soleil. Um, AKA the cafeteria. And those burgers look great. She's drooling. Uh, my burgers are the best. Juicy meat, toasted buns, special sauce. They are absolutely irresistible to anyone hankering for a burger. One bite will send you into hamburger heaven. I bet I can, t I can tell by the smell. Wow, I'm getting hungry too. Those burgers must have some kind of special power. <coughs> now that the ringmaster's gone, what are you going to do? That's, what I've, that's all I've thought about the past two days. Everyone loved Russell. You've heard Acro's story, haven't you? Like how he was adopted when he was younger? He's calmed down a bit now, but he was livid when he heard about the murder. Acro was so upset that he couldn't go on. He was that upset? Yes, he was. Anyways, I gave it some thought. Maybe... Maybe I should give up on trying to be a half-baked clown. I've been, thinking of, I've been thinking of trying on the ringmaster's shoe. What, really? Max would still be an issue, though. Max? He may be a bit mean and hard to work with, but it's hard to argue his importance. He's probably the reason the circus is still around. A lot of what he says is right. No. All that's left is, left is to see if everyone can get over the tragedy. You know. The tragedy, you know. What is, he, what is he talking about? I'm cold and I'm wearing a hoodie. So that's not good. I don't like that. Wagwan Nabil, how you doing? Welcome to today's stream. Why am I cold? I'm like literally right next to the heater. I don't like it. Good me, um, hungover. It's in the title, I am hungover. Uh, I also haven't slept. Well, I slept for an hour. So, yeah. <laughs> so who knows how long this stream will go on for. I'm trying. Like, I honestly, I was this close to cancelling it. Um, before I started the stream, I was actually speaking to uh, a future housemate. Uh, she, came, she came to the house at about half six to sign, uh, sign the contract. Um, confirming that she's moving in um, to the house, so she's moving in next month, in about three weeks, the fifteenth of Feb February or something. And um, but like when she came to view the house about a week or two prior, we got we actually got on quite well, so we, we were speaking like on Instagram and stuff. And so she met, she, met, she messaged me that she was coming to the house to sign a contract, and then after that, the landlord left, and we just she stayed at the house, and we just hung out and chat was, was speaking. So we, um, we were talking about all sorts of stuff. Um, she doesn't really play video games, but she watches anime. 
uh, which is cool. She, I think she's pretty much the only other person. She will, she will be the only other person other than me who watches anime in the house, in the house, uh, which is exciting. Um, and uh, yeah, I was t- saying to her, I was like, yeah, hungover, um, and I've got a stream in about half an hour, and I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> uh, and then she ended up leaving at like quarter to nine. At nine o'clock is usually when I start this, start my stream, ish, give or take. Um, so she left, and I was kind of just like, <sighs> I guess I'll just fucking do it. See what I could see what I could do because. Honestly, like I, I'd hate to miss a day of Phoenix Wright <laughs> um, because this is a big game, and I really want, I really want to make progress with this game. So, like, we're having to. If I'd missed a day, I would have to wait until Thursday to progress, and that, yeah, no, that didn't sit well with me. So, uh, I decided to fight the hangover, the hangover, and continue to solve crimes because it is indeed a perfect condition to solve crimes. Um. Binge the Phoenix Wright anime. That could be a shout, actually. To be fair, um, she said. She said, I don't. I don't. She, I don't know if she said it was her favorite, but I think she said one of the latest ones she watched was uh, Food Wars, a Shokugeki no Soma, which I thought was interesting. An interesting choice. But yeah. Um, how many people live with me currently? So this is this is. I'm living in a six bedroom house. So I have five other housemates. Uh, however. One of them I have not seen in two months. Um, it's possible he's dead. I don't know, but like he's, I don't know where he is. Uh, and then I'm friends with three other housemates. Like, like we, we, like we're that close. We just get on. Um, and then there's another girl who lives with us. Uh, what? Oh, the fact that I haven't seen him in two months. Yeah. Every now and again, I knock on the door and like. He's not, he's not dead in his room. <laughs> Otherwise, he'd be decayed by now. But like, I guess he, because he's from Latvia. So I'm assuming he's gone home to Latvia. But like, it's an extended stay. But he's still paying rent for the room because we've had people, you know, viewing the house. But that, his room has not been available. It's not been open for viewing. So I'm assuming he's still living here. But he's just, he's just, he's just not been in the house for like two years. It's been two months, even. Um, is it a bit? Well, the house, the house, the rooms are not that big. Like, what you see behind. <sighs> That's so annoying. <laughs> God damn it! How many times during the stream is that gonna happen? <laughs> How many times must it happen? I'm so annoyed. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I actually forgot I said you see behind me. So, um, behind me, <laughs> pretty much, that's like the extent of my room, essentially. Uh, like, like, behind my chair, Directly, that's where that's where the bed, that's where the end of the bed is. Directly behind my chair. Like, I can't even, I can't even go back. That's my, that's my bed, right? And that's the wall. And then over, the, you can't see it because I've cropped some of the camera. But like, I've got like a little bit of space to the right, but like a very tiny bit. It's like a walkway. <laughs> um, so it's a very small room, and I pay like more than someone else in this house who's paying less than me and has a bigger room. I don't know how that works out, but it is what it is. Um, it's a lovely house. I like it. It's um, I like my house. I like my housemates, and the new girl who's moving in with us. Um, she seems really cool, and she's really excited to move in with us as well. Because the place she's living in is an absolute dive of a house. She showed me pictures of the mold mold on her walls in the bathroom. Why? Oh, gee, I'm trying. I'm tr- think like the houses in Resident Evil Seven. Like it's just sprawled across the wall the bathroom wall I'm like ha- I'm sure that's violating many codes of like housing or something it's like it's absolutely ridiculous so she's really excited to move here because we, we're all we're a social social bunch um, and the place she's living in right now like there's a bit of a language barrier because they don't really speak that much English um, 
and like none of them know each other. No one, they're not sociable. They're all couples, and it's just uh, so she's really happy to be joining our house, and I'm happy to have her. Nice to have another anime fan in the house. I can't wait. I know I'm not, I know I'm chatting and I'm advancing the uh, text, but I am also reading it while I'm while I'm while I'm just chatting about nothing. See, he is a big fat liar. This clown. Thank you for clipping it, Ray Roth. Um, I clipped it myself, actually, to be fair. Um, like, I've got OBS can save me, save a replay buffer. So I, I, I pressed like a button on my keyboard and it saves the last five minutes as a, as a clip. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, that clip will go on my Twitter. Uh, so I'll download it and put it on my Twitter after the stream. Um, so now we're getting closer to the truth. It was about six months ago. It was just a little accident. Give me a break. Us old men have accidents. I wear big pants for a reason. Okay. The cat on his hat almost always gets me. Yeah, like... It's weird. Because it looks like he's trying to eat the carrot. Like, it's a bait for him. It's so weird. It's such a weird design. So I'm watching his animation, his laughing animation, and can you do you know what I hear in my head right now? <laughs> That's all I hear in my head right now. Mo, please tell us what happened six months ago. What in the world went on went on in the circus? Ah, oh, it's no need to look scary when you ask me. Hey, look over there, some juicy burgers. Let's eat instead. Unfortunately, I'm more of a grilled chicken sandwich myself. Yeah, let's fucking go. <laughs> um, actually, I've got, I've kind of got an idea of what happened back then. You said something about an accident. This wouldn't happen to be the cause of the accident, would it? Take that! Yeah, that was bad. To be fair. There's days like <laughs> these, defendants like you should be burning in hell. Genuinely, I want him to have like a breakdown animation just so, <laughs> just so that could be applicable. I don't have I don't have evidence for this, so yeah. His shape kind of reminds me of Sans as well, exactly. And his smile, yeah, exactly. Like everything about him now, and the fact that he's always a jokester. I'm just getting big Sans vibes right now. Uh, all right, cool. Let's see here, to the murderer. That's far from polite. Where did you find the rest of this anyway? Maybe if I didn't tell them where I found it. Don't worry about it, Mo. If I didn't need to worry about it, you shouldn't have shown it to me. But lately, it's just lately I've started to understand what he was always going on about. What is it then? <sighs> well, I can't explain. It all that well j just yet. When you think it's impossible, mash. What? Oh, I can't. Wow. Mm. Just when you think it's impossible, Mo flashes a glimpse of maturity. Uh, new talking point? No. haven't looked at is this nothing on top max is written in the vip table okay just stupid banter great got you anything interesting on the bulletin board no all right um well that's i've got no evidence i can't prove it's got nothing, nothing for me oh wait no 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 let's go back to the grandmaster's room Nothing here for me either. These guys, these losers, are, losers are just like chilling here. Oh wait, I know where I, need, I know where I need to go. Oh, let me guess. He's not here. Yeah.
Hmm, Mo's not here. Whatever, what's that? I hear something. Stop it, Nick, you're scaring me. Oh! Nick, it's money! That monkey's holding something. That's it. That's the thing that means a lot to Regina, remember? Alright, time to take on this... Time to take on this monkey attorney style. Yeah! RPG battle, let's go! What are these options? Yeah, we're doing a monkey battle, let's go. And I lost. I tried to have a monkey I tried to have a monkey to monkey talk with him, I really did. Nick, you you I swiped it while the monkey money was distracted. Wow, you're really on the ball today, Nick. Let me see it, let me see it. You can see it fine from where you are. You know what I mean? I wanna try it on. <laughs> maybe then they'll take you in the, in the maybe then they'll take you into the circus and I can get some peace and quiet. Also, money like tore this place up. It doesn't fit me at all. Well, I guess it's time for you to lay off the burgers. Not to mention it doesn't look like any something any girl I know would actually wear. It's not my size at all. Uh, yeah, no, this thing wrecked- this monkey wrecked shit, bro. They're all broken, well, you got to give them all a shot, trying this most- Oh, oh, well, they're already broken. Uh, okay, maybe they were already broken, okay. Alright, so I got the thing for Regina, so let's go back to... Big top. And talk to actually now. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here you go, Regina. Yay! Fair oh my god, she's really happy. She's the most happiest I've seen. Don't mention it. I love you, Mr. Attorney. <laughs> Blush, it's nothing. No wonder no wonder guys melt to, mu to mush in front of this girl. May I remind y'all, may I remind the court that she is 16. <laughs> anyway. Hey, Regina. That costume is yours, right? I tried it on, but it didn't fit me. Huh? This costume, this isn't mine, it was Leon's. Leon's? You know, the lion she told us about. Oh, the one that someone killed. Did that happen six years ago? Six months ago, even? What up, Solidus? What do I call you now? Solidus? Star? But what up? How you doing? That's a handsome lion, I'm not gonna lie. He was killed, wasn't he? Uh, that's right, my dad killed him. I just... So, sometimes, like, the regional accent, the regional dialect will come out. So I said, oh, he, um... Some, I, said, I think the dialogue went, oh, uh, he... He was the killer, weren't, weren't he? Weren't he? So, I'm gonna type that out. Right, so I went. One e, <laughs> which is basically uh, one it. Same thing. Or yeah. Uh, Leon. Well, Leon did something really bad during practice. During practice, Leon was uh sitting down, and then he opened his mouth. You know. Gah! Also, you might hear me say summit, which is just something, uh, some, something in northern dialect, which I, pay, now that I'm living in the north of England, I'm picking up the dialect. So I will say summit instead of something. Um, sometimes, sometimes I'll say something, but if I say summit, that's what I mean. Uh, Leon was sitting down, da da da. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Usually, uh, when he did that, I would usually put my head into his mouth. Uh, wait, you put your head into a lion's mouth? I sure did. The people in the crowd always love seeing me do, do that. They would always start screaming. It's saying Christmas even though it was nowhere in the sentence part of your regional dialogue. Listen. You listen. <laughs> you listen right here, Shin. You know, okay, you know what? You know what? You want to know the reason why I said Christmas instead of like... Okay, so... Man, it'd be easy to show it, but I'm not in a position to show it on stream so easily without taking some time to bring it up. But, so... 
Especially I have trouble reading things, things in general But basically Normally when you're reading right You read the words You know word by word in a line Then you go to the next line my, The way my sight go, works Is that I read in an area of effect <laughs> Vision So I could easily say I could have easily read this Instead of saying uh, You sure they were screaming Because they loved I could have said You sure they loved you See, I could, I could easily go from You sure to They loved seeing you And my brain will be like Oh that grammatically makes sense <laughs> So it would just automatically do that You sure they loved seeing you do that it's, Instead of reading the rest of the line I was actually on So I think one of the words Was witness and crime um, and so because I saw the CR in crime first before, even though, even though that was after the word witness, my mind just went crit and then this, and then my mind, and then my mind all corrected it to Christmas for some reason. It's, it's fucked. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's why I said Christmas. I didn't explain it. I didn't explain it, um, yesterday, but I'm pretty sure that's why I did it. Uh, anyways. What was the bad thing? Oh yeah, Leon bit someone during that practice. But Gina, everything was alright though, right? Oh, it wasn't alright. That was the problem. My dad was incredibly angry. And that's when Leon... Yeah, that's when he became a star in the sky. Poor thing. The animal shows lion, shot by the ringmaster six months ago for biting the former. Thank you, Regina. I think I, I know exactly what happened. Thing is, the reaction. <laughs> You're <way> reading, yes. <laughs> the thing is, the reaction was way funnier than the slip up. Uh, um, yeah. Yeah, well, you know, entertainment. <laughs> thing is, I was. Thing is, like, half of it, half of it was, like, dragged on, half of it was just, like, oh, actually, I really screwed it up. Like, oh my gosh. I was genuinely embarrassed that happened. <laughs> Because, like, usually when I slip up on words, it's usually with words that are actually on the screen, but I'm just reading them in a weird order. But Christmas was nowhere, <laughs> nowhere in the sentence. So my mind, my mind just just merged two words together, and I said it wrong. Um, that's where we're in. <laughs> move, move, move into Aqua's room. Okay, I challenge you to a battle of liars, lies. About the wheelchair. Oops, that was close. I have to ask you, how were you injured? He did, he got bit, he lost his, he, the accident was an acrobatic accident. Or, Leon bit your ass. Six months ago, you were attacked by the lion, that's when you were injured. I know I'm on the right track, I just need to keep going. You're saying that I was attacked by a lion? That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright, but I'm an acrobat. I'm no animal tamer. If a lion was coming at me, I'd be running for the exit. Or maybe attacked is not the best word to be using. So let me rephrase that as battled the lion. You seem to enjoy telling jokes. Why would I decide to battle a lion? Because you had to fight it. You had to fight it to save someone. What do you know? Why would I possibly battle the king of the jungle for something like that? Huh? I must be going in the wrong direction. To save someone. I don't know who you did it to. I don't know why. So let me go somewhere else. Do I know why? Do you know? Do I know why? I haven't, yeah, I figured I haven't discovered the character yet. Fair enough. In which case... Back to... Let's see if I can go to the detention center. No, okay. Let's see if I can go to...
What do now? Oh yeah, there's this. I honestly forgot what I'm accusing him. Like, what is he lying about again? Because, oh yeah, so. Take that! Heard a little bit about it from Regina. Leon made a mistake during practice, didn't he? How'd you? I told him so many times, you shouldn't be doing such a dangerous, dangerous acts like putting her head inside Leon's mouth, right? Yeah, but Regina believed in Leon. She believed so strongly that the ringmaster went along. He can never say no to her. Out of curiosity, he was bitten. Come on, Mo, don't climb up on me now. Who did Leon Leon bite on the head? Well, um, I promised I wouldn't say anything. You promised? He's involved in this too. He's involved? Mo must be talking about... Take that! It must have been Akko, right? How would you know? Because I'm smart. Don't worry about that, Mo. Getting to the bottom of this accident may help solve what happened to the ringmaster. No, no way. I want to. I need to know what the truth about what happened to Russell. Please tell me what you know. I'm sorry, Akra. It's just like you said. You know the accident. Did someone die? No, but it probably would have been better if they it had. What? How would that have been better? He's still alive. But when he got bit, he suffered massive brain damage. He'll never recover from the one coma that, coma that he's in. Coma? Oh, he, all he does now is lie in his bed at the hospital. And that's all he's ever going to be able to do. Oh, he's a complete veg vegetable. How is he related to Akra? He's his brother. Ah. The person who got bit was Akra's brother. Brother? They were an acrobat team of brothers. Ac they are not trying with the names anymore. They are like, like, did the writers go on strike? I don't, what? Stop! <laughs> oh. Akro and Batha must be near the end of the game. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Is it like this in the Japanese version as well? Who, who knows, honestly? I don't know. Anyways, they were an incredible team, cut down together in their prime. He was Akro's younger brother. Regarding the cured, regarding the question of the day, Persona 5 Royale. If you heard, and if you heard it, self-explanatory. I've not played Royale, but I have played vanilla Persona 5. And yeah, self-explanatory. Yeah, it would be a groovy wedding. It'll be funky as hell. I mess with that. That's good. I like that. He looks like the protagonist of a random Game Boy Advance RPG. Sean Dingling. He fell in love with Regina. Trying to win her love was his downfall. Every, everyone seems to fall in love with fall in love with Regina. There he is. He's 22. All these grown ass fucking like young adults falling for a 16 year old. You need to behave. Six months ago, while we were practicing, all of a sudden, Bat blurts out, Let me perform with Leon. Why did he do that? I don't know, but that's what caused the accident. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. I'll never forget that moment. It was so strange. Leon had the weirdest look on his face. He was smiling. He? You mean Leon? Yes, Leon. 
When he bit down, he was smiling. Ooh, some sick grin. No way, that's impossible. A smirking lion, a flying murderer. Why does it seem that it's always Mo who catches all of these incredible events? Nick, can lions smile? He never told the police about the incident. The circus would have been shut down if he had. The next day, the ringmaster took Leon out and shot him with a rifle. So that's what really happened. Well, you guys were so serious. What was I supposed to do? I had to tell you, but all this truth was truth. All this truthfulness has put me in the mood for a burger. Here, you two have some pepper. There he goes again, acting like his normal crazy self. Ah, 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 chew! Nice, what a wonderful sneeze. You think so? You sneeze with pepper and slip on a banana peel. That's basic clownmanship. Girly, you, I know you got him. <laughs> got him! Um, I know you I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I know you gotta understand that. Nick, I think I'd make a good clown. Other than Regina, I've never seen a cuter Sneezy. Sneezy? Sneezer. Does uh, Regina sneeze with Pepper too? She does. Bat would always tease her with Pepper. Bat? From my point of view, those two always looked per so perfect together. They look perfect together, huh? Interesting. Anyway, I believe I have what I need. I believe I have what I need. I have what I need. Um, where is it? Where am I going? This one. Ah, oh, Mr. Right, back again, I see. Well, he did say I'll be back. Wait, or was that someone else? We're back because Akro's hiding why his legs was injured. He was hurt in the accident six months ago. It would seem that he knows that we know. Well, well, it seems you've got things you want to talk about so far away. There's three. Oh, I can't save either. Okay. So, you, uh, Leon, you're the reason you in, you in wheelchair. Alright, and you battled Lion to d for this- No! I pressed the wrong button. You battled Lion for this human being. Bat, it was a shame what happened to your brother six months ago. You tried to save him, didn't you? And that's how you got that terrible injury. He must have told you. Yes, we learned about Bat from Mo. But he didn't mention anything about you in regards to that accident. I suppose it was just a slip of the tongue on his part. That's how I figured it out. A slip of the tongue. Anyways, they were incredible together. Cut down together in their prime. Cut down together. That's where he slipped. And that's how I figured it out. You two ended up at the center of the same accident together, like always. I see. But an accident is an accident. It wasn't anyone's fault. I still, have, still haven't broken this last cyclock. This must be one incredibly deep-seated secret. It wasn't anyone's fault. Do you care to explain more? Akro, I know you're still hiding something from me. Maybe someone you don't seem to like much is the reason you're being evasive. Ah, because he did it for her and now he doesn't like her. How is he still super buff in that wheelchair? Oh, he, oh, he literally, he works out. Like after the dialogue, like he, ha after the dialogue box, I'll show you, but he, ha he has like barbells on the floor. He, he literally, he actually works out. Uh, Regina, you always seem to calm. You always seem calm and collected until you start talking about her, saying things like that, saying things like she is cruel. Well done, Mister Attorney. You've got quite the set of eagle eyes. You know, her tiger tried to attack me. Regent tried to attack you twice. <laughs> he wasn't serious. I'm sure. You're not trying to insinuate that I believe she spurred. Huh? You're not trying to insinuate that I believe she spurred on Leon to, Leon to attack Bat, are you? Leon was never taught a command to attack people. Regina, Regina isn't capable of doing anything like that. What about leg day? He's in a wheelchair, my guy. He can barely stand, let alone like... <laughs> uh, 
Besides, Regina had no reason to want to hurt my little brother. Regina and Bat were such good friends back then. But you still hate Regina. I've got proof of it. What? What are you talking about? Dope, maybe I overdid it again. But if I can hand something over to Akra, maybe it'll... This, where did you get it? Regina posted it on the bulletin board in the cafeteria. Before that, it was in her pocket. Hmm, I guess... Yeah, I always take Akro's breakfast in the morning. You wrote this and then you put it in her pocket. That's right, isn't it? That's right. Well done, Mr. Wright. And honestly, being an acro... Isn't being an acrobat pretty much... All just upper body body, sp body strength. Like yeah, here are the bar here's the barbell that he uses. Wait, what am I doing? Sorry, I'm thinking about like the future. When I say the future, I mean like this this stream. Basically, like oh no, I can start. I'm starting to feel the tiredness setting. Um, but also, I don't want to stop until I've gotten to at least the end of the trial. I don't know. How, I don't know how many days this trial. It like we've done the first day of the trial. Um, so we've got to do the second. I don't know if there's a third day. At the very least, I want to get to the end of the uh, the you know the, the, the next trial before I call it. Preferably, I'd like to finish this entire episode. <laughs> but, um, oh, I'm tired. I may, maybe I might do like a remedial stream. Like, put on an extra day to finish off this episode. We'll see. Uh, six months ago, my younger brother, Bat, had a dare with Regina. A dare? Absurd dare. If I can put my head inside of Leon's mouth like you do, you have to go to the movies with me on a date. Kids, kids are so dumb. That's insane. Didn't he know how dangerous that is? Yep. Well, unfortunately for Bat, what he didn't know is that he's a SERP! Oh, sorry. He's a tier three sub. <laughs> Straight up. Like, you don't go putting your head in lions' mouths. Not worth it. But that lion was very old to begin with. And an age brought with it countless experience in doing that very trick. Unfortunately, this particular time, particular time, uh, I guess Leon, Leon wasn't really ready or willing. And that's when the accident happened. He just wanted to take her out to the movies. Or bat. When Leon trumped down, I jumped towards him. Then Leon attacked me, and that's how I ended up here. What about Bat? He's still in the coma. He went, I went to the hospital yesterday to visit him. I see. I'm still waiting for him to open his eyes again, and that's the reason why I keep going. No, oh, no, 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 no. Bat and Regina, they were such great friends. Oh yeah, I wanted to wanted you to take a look at this. What is it? This is the scarf my brother was wearing when Leon attacked him. Gross, it's covered in blood. This scarf, it was a present from Regina, Regina um, to my brother on the day of the accident. Hmm. When he did it, he looked like he was smiling. Leon, obviously. Oh! When he bit down on Bat's head, the expression on Leon's face looked like a grin. Nick, I know. I know, Mo said the same thing. What do you think it all means? I'll be taking that scarf if you don't mind. You can't take it off me. I've already heard everything, so hand over the scarf. No, the scarf is evidence in the trial. That is for me to decide. No, it's not. I think we should begin our preparations now, Akra. Oh no, this is no. This is not how it goes. This is not how it goes. Shin, do I have to play the thing? Do I have to play it? 
Do I have to play it? This is this is this I'm playing it. This is for this is for shin. This is Objection! Shin. Shin is horny, your honor. <laughs> I think we're gonna have preparations now, Acro. Preparations. I've served a summons to Acro. For tier three summer for karma. <laughs> to appear in court tomorrow as a witness. Acro will talk more of the Yeah, yeah. Acro, witness. Come, Acro, let's go to the office. She really said, come, boy. Come, boy, let's go. Hey, boy. Yes, ma'am. Now what do we do, Nick? How are we going to handle tomorrow? <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> I love the dog emojis. I'll figure something out. Look at you! Look at you with all that conf. You look at you, full of that all that confidence. Hmm. Oh no, my connection to Twitch. Oh, there it is. No. Okay. Cool. Look at you, full. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you must have found something you can use. This is all beginning to come together now. Does that mean? Ooh, ooh! I get to go to sleep soon. <laughs> like I'm so excited to see that. I'm not even gonna lie. Oh. 